the Cumbria TV Guide to Ulverston. Brought to you by Jeff Hornby and Co. and Windermere Lake Cruises. Popular market town just 30 minutes from Junction 36 of the M6 at the top of the Furness Peninsula in South Lakeland and is characterised by its cobbled streets, traditional inns and boutique shops. Ulverston can be reached by train from Lancaster and Carlisle, by bus from Kendall and car drivers will find parking in the town straightforward. As you enter the town there is a large car park on Brewery Street just off the main roundabout, with further car parks in Buxton Place and in an area known as the Gill. Each has ample provision for disabled drivers with public conveniences at the Gill and each one is just a short distance from the town centre. When you walk around Ulverston it's clear that it grew up and evolved over a long period of time. You're going to see cobbled streets, you're going to see little back alleyways and ginnels that have been that have their footprint way, way back, hundreds of years back. Um, and you're going to see the place exactly as you know, our grandparents would have seen it. It hasn't changed at all in terms of the streetscape and the layout of the place. And everything is, uh, is on a scale, which means that you can take it in. You, you, you feel as if, you know, you can become part of it and connect with it. There's an outdoor market on a Thursday and a Saturday. Um, they're very, very much worth a visit. There's an indoor market in a grand Victorian building, uh, which is open five days a week. There's a, a real mixture of shops from um, branches of small branches of multinationals right the way through to really interesting, quirky, individualistic uh, places run by people who are experts at what they do and um, are going to make you welcome. Typical of the independent shops in Ulverston is Sutton's Bookshop. Expert knowledge by the owner means that all tastes are catered for, with a large range of children's books, travel writing and a vast range of local interest books, it's definitely worth a visit. We've got a young guy who uh, runs a tea shop in Overson. He's just won himself a national award because of the level of service and the care and the interest that he takes in, 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 in the product that he's, he's, he's providing. Um, but whether you sit down in one of our cafes, uh, whether you sit down in one of our tea rooms, whether you sit down in one of our licensed premises, you're going to enjoy yourself. We've been running the tea room here for five years. We saw a building for sale opposite our family's grocers that uh, ran for 102 years and thought we'd bring back the same service and quality that was associated with the family name. The building's an 18th century building that we, we spent six months restoring. It's got uh, Victorian furniture and fittings and it's just a special just sort of ambience that's created. We have two floors. In the winter we have open fires so people come in off the streets and warm up by. And in the summer we've got a garden that's re that catches the sun most of the day. We specialise in tea. We're a traditional tea room and we sell over 30 types of loose leaf organic tea served in the traditional way. We do afternoon tea and we've been in the tea guild since we opened. We believe in supporting lo local producers and farmers. We use all organic ingredients and we have butter from Shap, milk from Swarthmoor just on the edge of Ulverston. We have veg that's normally grown in the region from Ormskirk and Killing. Today we've got um, Rare Biton. It's got local bread baked in Grange. It's got Sam Smith's beer in it. And it's also got cheese from Legrams of, of Chipping. We have a vast um, amount of vegetarian food. We have vegan dairy free food. And we bake gluten free cakes every day on the, on the premises. This year we've opened a speciality food shop. It's next to the tea room. We sell in a lot of the stuff that we uh, serve in the tea room because people often ask us, where can you get this cheese from? And now we just say we sell it next door. A famous son of Ulverston was um, Stan Laurel. People come from all over the country to, to see the place where he was born. And in, in his honour, we've erected a statue of him and Oliver Hardy uh, just outside of uh, the Coronation Hall. Every day people stand and have photographs taken of themselves by the statue. Welcome, welcome to Ulverton, Norway! This 
stand all the way in. This possibly the double act, one of the most famous, the most wonderful, the most fabulous comedians ever, ever, ever in the history of show business. Yeah. Yeah. Hardy, who made the world laugh. <laughs> Um, around the corner from that, Stan Laurel's memories, memories kept alive by uh, a museum, uh, the Laurel and Hardy Museum. Um, you don't have to be a Laurel and Hardy fanatic to get a lot out of visit to that particular place. It is very, very interesting. The people who run it know their stuff and know what all the exhibits, what the significance of all those exhibits are. You could, uh, you could take a walk um, up our hill, Hode Hill, at the top of which there's a replica of the Eddystone Lighthouse because another famous son of Augustine, Sir John Barrow, his life was commemorated by the construction of that memorial. And last year, the town council, again, as I say, Augustine punching above its weight, realising that if we wanted people to see it, we were going to have to do a lot of work. And a 1.2 million two-year project culminated with the newly refurbished Hode Monument, which now welcomes the public and explains to the public what it's about. And if you can't walk up the hill, give us a ring at the town council and we'll drive you up the hill. Well, I feel very proud, to be honest. I feel proud that the Harvester community inviting me to come and open this, this monument. I feel proud that my long lost, long departed ancestor still has such strong roots and still resonates amongst the community. It carries a dominating position over the valley. You can see it as you drive in down the A590. And I've been told by a number of people that, not just in Alberston, but the whole across the peninsula, that this is the sign that they've come home. For a relatively small town, Alberston has a large variety of attractions. Just off the first roundabout as you enter town is Cumbria Crystal. We are the last remaining full lead crystal factory in hand making in the UK, which means that we melt and make 31% full lead English crystal and we cut it here and everything's made by hand and it's a very artisan based factory. I came to work with Cumbria Crystal about two years ago as a consultant and came on board as their creative director. They hadn't had any new designs here for a long time and we just started building up a new collection for the company alongside the traditional work that they do. Watching glass being made is mesmerising. It's a real alchemy situation and there's a real dance to it because the teams work together. So you've got two or three people in a team and, and everyone has their own skill and their own job but they have to work very closely together. It's like this dance, it's beautiful. As a designer, what I, I do best is I understand the processes very well because I've worked in the industry for such a long time but I can see potential in the processes to develop new and interesting designs. And that means I have to push the craftsmanship a bit further than women and men here are used to. But that gives them a really good challenge. I think they really enjoy it. Our workforce is our gold here. They're incredibly skilled craftsmen and women. Um, I'm very proud to work with them. The factory shop is open daily and glass making can be viewed from Monday to Friday. Just next to Cumbria Crystal is the Walker's Hostel. We're an independent hostel and outdoor activity centre uh, based on the outskirts of Orbiston, very close to the Lake District, uh, at the bottom of Horde Hill. We've got seven unique bedrooms, ranging from two to six beds. Uh, quite a lot of them have got bunk beds. We've got separate male and female shower rooms. Uh, we've got the common room, sort of dining room, which we're in at the moment, uh, TV lounge, uh, fully fitted kitchens. We do offer the opportunity for individuals and groups coming in to do outdoor activities through a range of local providers. And also we can offer guest guided walks and baggage transfer service up and down the Cumbria Way. Whatever it is that you want to do, you know, you'll be able to do it here somewhere. You want to walk the start of the Cumbria Ways here, if you're a, whether you're a rambler or a serious hiker. Whatever it is that you wanted to do, you'll be able to make a start and, and take part in that activity here in Austin. My name's Jim and I'm shop manager at Gillcycle in Alderston. The current owners have had the shop for five years now. Before that, it was a bike shop since sort of the 80s. So it's been around a long time. I think all the locals really know about us now uh, and trust the service we provide. The reason people come to Gillcycles really is the range of bikes we stock. If 
advice we can give them and generally our expertise in the workshop and on the shop floor. If we haven't got something in stock, we try and order it as soon as we can. We're right on the coast to coast route as well, literally shop bikes come right past the shop door. So a lot of people come in just even just for a chat, if nothing else. As well as catering for outdoor activities, Ulverston also has its fair share of nightlife. My name's Roger Chatteray, I've been in Ulverston for 25 years, starting at the Rose and Crown. The Rose and Crown presently is a very traditional pub, log fires, slate floors, oak beams, it's a listed interior. It's a little bit younger down there in the evening, has a good selection of wines and real ales. The kids organise events themselves in there, a huge beer garden at the back, but it, it also has a good food following. It's a foot of Cumberland sausage, a pound of gammon, a rack of ribs, but it's large portions and for the healthy appetite. Moving on to the Farmers, which was a dream. It's in the centre of Ulverston, right at the heart of the market town. It's a meeting place. In the mornings, there's a lot of people who meet for coffee and do. We hopefully will be busy for lunches. We'll have our tea time drinkers, our evening meal diners. There's such a wide range of food in the farmers, but I can honestly say it's all fresh and it is all prepared on site. There's nothing bought in. We specialise in real ale and premium lagers. The real ales, we try to put at least three local beers on from the area. And I mean local as in Cumbria. We are known as an information centre as well. Anybody uh, arriving in Ulverston normally asks where to go for something to eat or what to do and they normally say there's only one place and that's the farmers.